I don't know, man. Uh, all I can say is uh, I'm going to be very hesitant moving forward, uh, giving any of my hard-earned money to Hollywood or any of the actors that support this woke desk. They, they could f*** off. Yep. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I want to see McCarthyism come back and all of these fairy-ass goddamn actors get blacklisted <laughs> and we yeah. never see them again. <laughs> Uh, hey, you know what? In 2021, hashtag McCarthy was right. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah, he was. He really was. And uh, we've yeah, only got a few subjects today because we wanted to be able to just shoot the shit with uh, Mr. anti Wolk Warrior. And he had a an article that he sent our way that, shockingly enough, how many views did you say this article got on your, your channel about the, the federal judge? Striking 45. down one of the most widely prosecuted offenses in immigration law, slamming its racist origins. Yeah, 45 views is all I've gotten on it. Wow. This needs to be widely known. Because this, when I read this, my, my brain almost imploded. Striking down one of the most prosecuted offenses in immigration law, a federal judge in Nevada ruled Wednesday that the prosecution of an immigrant should be halted. The judge's ruling unpacked the racist history of long-used immigration statute used against him, finding it unconstitutional and discriminatory against Mexican and Latinx individuals. Well, first of all, if you're using the term Latinx... You're an idiot. You're an idiot, okay. yeah. Even Mexicans are like, Latinx? The f*** are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that BuzzFeed video from a long time ago that these women... When did words get gendered? Obviously, it, it, nobody took Spanish in school. Right. <laughs> I know. And, and I point out in one of my videos, actually, English used to have the same thing. Yeah. And then we just decided to go full retard with words like through, rough, cough, bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have so, you, ever, you guys ever seen the I Love Lucy episode where Ricky tries to read out of a book? And then Lucy decides that she wants everyone to learn perfect English before the baby is born. <laughs> And he's going through, and he keeps reading. It's like, his day's work was thruff. <laughs> thruff? T-H-R-O-U-G-H is pronounced through. Through? <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> then he developed a hacking coup. Cough. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Our language is f***ed up. <laughs> it is. What are some examples of the old English being uh, masculine and feminine? I don't know any examples off the top of my head. You can actually YouTube Old English being spoken, and it's crazy. Even just from like five, six hundred years ago, different yeah. language. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, some words, though, were so good, they held over, and they're great insults today. Like, cuck. And fuck. <laughs> Fornication mm. under consent of king. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nice. Well, so I bet you guys are wondering what this law is. So here we go. And by the way, you could construe any immigration law as being moacist because in order to have immigration, you have to have borders. Now, in order to be a country, you have to have borders, which stands to reason that anyone outside of your country may or may not be the same race as you. Correct. So it's kind of retarded to even bring it up. Well, the thing is, is these little um, rulings and so forth are just one notch closer to the two-way rifle range. Yep. Yep. Gustavo Carrillo Lopez, <laughs> no relation to AOC, I guess, mm. was indicted <laughs> in 2020 for a felony under 8 USC, I guess, statute or chapter 1326. That specific felony is one that has been on the books for nearly a century. Re-entry into the U.S. after having been deported. So basically, breaking the law once and committing a felony and completely disregarding the sovereignty and borders of another country is not bad enough. You do it again, mm -hmm. but now because you did it twice, you must really want to stay. So it would be racist for us to deport you again. Well, there's a, I mean, there's been a lot of guys who've been deported, you know, 15, 16, 18 times who commit crimes and get and get deported over and over again. Ugh. If I was running the world, you do it twice, you go into a hard work camp. Yeah. You're going to work yeah. off the costs of all the bullshit we had to do to capture you. Well, and that was back when consequences weren't against the law, apparently. <clears throat> well, I, yeah. I mean, I can't believe this was a Nevada judge. Yeah. Is he part of, like, the California circuit? You know, federal? I would call him a slacktivist judge, just looking at this decision, because it's objectively stupid. 
this yeah. isn't even a matter of opinion. This is objectively yeah. stupid. I mean, if you've been deported and you come back, I mean, the penalty should increase. Yeah. That's just that's the way the law works. Yeah, the first time we deport you and send you back to your family, second time we shove a metal stake up your ass and then deport you back to your family. <laughs> nice. Not only that, what they're essentially saying is if, hey, if, if I rob somebody and then I rob somebody again, hey, I got caught the first time, I can do it as many times as I want to from now on. Uh, Carrillo Lopez argued that his indictment should be dismissed because the statue violates his equal protection rights under the Fifth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. I need to take a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I know that you want to ask the question, so you go right ahead. Why the f*** does a non-citizen get protection from our Constitution? That's ridiculous. They don't. They shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, if you are not a citizen of this country and you enter it illegally, the Constitution does not apply to you. So eat a dick. In fact, eat the whole bag. Bet you can't eat just one. <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern and bring the strong stuff. Now is not the time for beer. That comes later.